As a result of Nazi greed and mismanagement, the Tsartorsky portrait of a young man became one of the greatest artistic casualties of the Second World War. This valuable painting is believed to be a self-portrait by the great Italian Renaissance artist Raphael Sanzio. Not only does his disappearance result in a massive monetary loss, but it also deprives the world of an opportunity to study and appreciate a precious cultural treasure. Because it no longer exists in its original form, many questions remain unanswered about its origins as well as its disappearance in 1945. Because it has been lost, contemporary scholars are unable to examine the original painting in order to find clues about its origins. Thus, we can never know for sure who painted it, who the subject is, or when exactly it was produced. However, most scholars be today believe that this picture was painted by Raphael Sanzio around 1514 and that it is a self-portrait. This means that the portrait would be immensely valuable, as Raphael is considered to be one of the greatest and most influential artists of all time. Raphael lived in Italy during the High Renaissance and worked in the Vatican among other great artists of that time such as Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. His hometown was Urbino, but as his notoriety as a talented young artist spread throughout Italy, Pope Julius II learned of him, and in 1508 he invited Raphael to Rome in order to help decorate the Vatican, where Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci were already working. Of course, Raphael accepted this invitation, and while working at the Vatican, Raphael created his masterpiece, the world-renowned fresco, The School of Athens. It is during his time working in Rome that he is believed to have painted a self-portrait, now often called the Tsartorsky Portrait of a Young Man, because the Tsartorsky family were the last legitimate owners of this painting. The original work was an oil painting on a 28 by 22 inch wooden panel, although any contemporary analysis of the painting must rely on copies and prints that were produced before its disappearance in 1945. The subject of the painting is a young man wearing a white blouse covered with expensive furs. He is seated at a table in a room with a window behind him through which we can see an outdoor vista. His extravagant clothing and confident pose indicate that he is an individual of high status. The outline of the body and the head of the subject are each composed of two adjacent circles. This is a style that is found in other portraits by Raphael, such as that of Baldessare Castiglione. His facial features are almost exactly the same as those of the depiction of Raphael in the School of Athens, which strongly supports the theory that the subject of the painting is Raphael himself. The Tartorsky portrait of a young man was clearly an influential work, which is evidenced by the fact that the subject's pose was imitated by the Flemish painter Anthony van Dyck in his portrait of Nicholas Lanier. The Tartorsky family was a wealthy Polish family who had been collecting art for generations, and by the beginning of World War II, the Raphael portrait was one of their most valuable works. It had been brought to Poland by Prince Adam Jersey of the Tartorsky family after he purchased it while traveling through Italy in 1801. In the year 1939, the year that Poland was invaded by Nazi Germany, the portrait of the young man was a part of the Tartorsky art collection which had been on display in a museum at Krakow. Anticipating the threat of looting posed by the Germans, the portrait, along with the rest of the Tsartorsky collection, was moved to a country estate in Sienawa during the summer of 1939. Unfortunately, the collection was not kept hidden for long, and in September of that year, Gestapo agents located the collection and confiscated it. As soon as the Tsartorsky portrait was captured, the power struggle immediately erupted among Nazi officials over who owned the painting and where it was to be kept. Once confiscated by the Nazis, the Raphael portrait, along with the two other most valuable paintings of the Tsartorsky collection, were immediately brought to the Kaiser Friedrich Museum in Berlin, 
by Hermann Göring's deputy Cahetan Molman. These paintings were intended to be kept in Berlin until Hitler's Führer Museum was ready to house them. Hans Frank, the governor of occupied Poland, was outraged to hear that these three paintings were taken from Poland, as he wanted them for his personal collection there. He ordered that the paintings be returned to him in Poland, and they were brought back per his request. After this, the trio of paintings were taken back to Berlin for safekeeping at the beginning of the German invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941. In 1942, they were evacuated from Berlin to escape Allied bombing raids, again brought back to the custody of Hans Frank in Poland. By November of 1944, Soviet forces were approaching Poland. Hans Frank was forced to evacuate Krakow, and he meant to bring the trio of valuable paintings from the Tsartorsky collection with him as he fled. In early 1945, Hans Frank left the Raphael portrait behind in a castle in Lower Silesia, which is located in southern Poland. It was left behind either because of its unwieldy size or simply because it got lost in the shuffle during the frantic retreat. The painting has not been seen since January of 1945, and it is probable that the painting was destroyed sometime in 1945. It could have been destroyed in combat when the front lines reached Lower Silesia, or just by negligent troops who were unaware of its value. Another possibility is that it was destroyed on purpose by Nazi loyalists in accordance with the Nero Decree, which was issued in March of 1945. The decree stipulated that anything of value was to be destroyed before it could fall into the hands of the enemy. Nevertheless, some still hold out hope that the painting survived the war and that it is yet to be found by authorities. If the painting were to surface today, it would be valued at over $100 million and its cultural value would be unquantifiable.